And we are live. All right. Welcome, everybody, to tonight's session of Sins of the Fallen. Uh, where we last left off, the party had gone to a uh, meeting uh, with a noble woman interested in buying the sarcophagus from a Lady Augusto. Uh, after deliberating for a bit, uh, they seem to have come to an agreement. Uh, and as they were uh, cementing their agreement, um, chaos ensued as several of the guards uh, were knocked unconscious. Uh, and the party was uh, attacked by the night stalking vigilante known as the Chosen. Uh, they fought for a bit, uh, and as the party tried to get the sarcophagus out of the warehouse before the warehouse collapsed on it, uh, the Chosen uh, I guess it's unclear exactly what his motives were but he seemed to push the party out of the warehouse uh, almost sacrificing himself uh, while also getting shot by people uh, and the roof of the warehouse collapsed on him and the sarcophagus uh, as the party kind of took stock and realized that they could hear the sounds of guards coming to investigate the warehouse, uh, they decided to get the hell out of there. And so that's where we will pick back up with the party moving to escape the vicinity of the warehouse before they are caught. Uh, the last thing that happened was uh, Kit summoning Inkblot and throwing him into the air to act as kind of like a, a guide to warn them where the guards were coming from. I forgot, I just needed him into the sky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so go ahead uh, and make a perception check for Inkblot. Uh. Oh no. What what is his thing? Uh. Da, 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 da. Perception is a plus three. Do, 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 do. Oh god, hang on. It struggling <laughs> too many buttons. Everything I keep clicking on the wrong stuff. <laughs> it's pain. It's nothing but pain. I that isn't even oh my god. I just hang on. I clicked on my own thing and I rolled to myself as well. <laughs> Off to a great start here tonight. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, he's a what a raven's wisdom plus one perception plus three, one d twenty plus one, plus, I guess it's plus four. Lol, plus three. <laughs> well, I was like, plus one, plus three, and I was like, well, no, <laughs> not total of plus three, yeah, but nice, an eight. <laughs> All, All right, right. Just sounds get good. An eight. All right. Uh, yeah, so uh, he does like a, a little circle overhead uh, and says, yeah, you should be clear. <laughs> so what is the party doing? <laughs> well, I know we had also taken off at a run at the same time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I guess we just keep running. Hopefully right. we don't come across anybody. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so you can see as you guys are kind of running, just in a direction, uh, that uh, Arthur and Athelos are kind of falling behind uh, as they are currently carrying the unconscious bodies of uh, Fira and Toshi. So they were trapped in the rubble. <laughs> I was to say I didn't realize they had gotten out. <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, they were uh, pushed out by the same kind of telekinetic push that pushed Felkram out as well. You mean we should probably help them? I'll yeah. Them both with a cure wounds. Probably. Since I've got two more spell slots. Okay, you take a second to cure wounds them, uh, which will bring them the consciousness, and so now they can run on their own after a <laughs> momentary kind of moment of confusion, as the last thing they remember was the deal going off normally and good. <laughs> <laughs> Wakes up, everything's gone to shit. <laughs> Alright, yeah, they are both at full health. I mean, is there a direction we want to be running in? I don't think we should be running towards the inn if we ever want to come back there. No. Yeah, no, we should go somewhere else and then loop back to the inn. Probably. I don't think we should go back to the inn at all, again. <laughs> we're gonna, yeah. We're, not, we're just not going to pay for anything that we might have not paid for yet. I mean, we oh, can no! pay, but we were seen... <laughs> carting the cart in there and carting it out and if the guards oh, are looking right. for the people that had the cart uh yeah to be fair they would be looking for a coffin inside a warehouse we had it inside a crate for the majority of the time you know it's still a little suspicious though i don't think that um I don't f think that Falcrum's being too cautious. Um, Mike, yeah. was <laughs> I can't remember. Is the voiceless bone just a bar, or is it also a place one could stay? Uh, I think we. <laughs> I think it was just a very seedy tavern. I don't think okay. it's somewhere that you could stay. Um, like, you could try to convince them to, like, uh, let you hole up in, like, a storage house or something, but they don't have rooms for rent, if that's what you're asking. Okay. I mean, one thought is head towards the docks. Plenty of places to hide out down there. We're at the docks. We're at the docks? The warehouse in the docks? I think so. The, the warehouse was in uh, in that part of the city. Although, I mean, okay. it's not like there's one warehouse and one dock in this city. I feel yeah. like this is probably a fairly large area, so we could probably... Yeah, we could just hide. Yeah. Maybe. Hunker down. Well it's, well, it's possible they've blocked off this part of the city. We might not be able to get back or get out of here. How uh, how far have we run away at this point? Ish. I would say at this point you've run like two or three blocks. Oh, no, we need to put some distance between us and this. I feel like if we just keep running, we look extra sus. <laughs> That's more my thing. Like, at a certain point, we should maybe not run. Yeah, that too. We need to, you know, pose as tourists who have gotten lost. And, you know, don't know where we the fuck we're going. No, we can also just be people in the city that have no idea that... <laughs> that too. And don't care. 
But we're still a little too close, in my opinion. That's fine. I just, you know, that's why I was asking. I just wanted to. I feel like at some point we should stop running. Does oh, I, I don't disagree, but just not quite yet. Yeah, I like to stop running as soon as possible. <laughs> Let's see. Um, as you are having this conversation, uh, Ruby... Uh, yeah. You would notice uh, with your passive perception um, that the uh, the alarms from the the guards uh, are getting much closer, uh, and you think that it won't be long before the guards come into sight. All right, well, I can definitely tell you now is not the time for us to stop running because the guards are getting closer, so we should... Sir, from where? <laughs> yeah, can I tell, like, from what direction they're coming? Go ahead and make a perception check. <laughs> they're getting closer <laughs> as we barrel into them. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I know they're exactly all... what direction they're They're all coming. around you. <laughs> <laughs> You're surrounded. They're coming from everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, coming from the skies! <laughs> I'm like, no, that's just my idiot bird. <laughs> bird who also can't see anything. Um, Yeah. Listen, I think it geez. would be smarter for us to stop running and just walk. Yeah. Yeah, are we near, like, a main street? Yeah, Fox? I would say so. <laughs> like, a main thoroughfare? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, and we're just, okay. we're chilling. Yeah. Um, I don't think we should fully split up, but we should kind of walk like we're not all together, if that makes yeah. sense. Oh my god, Malkir. Oh no. <laughs> Throw it over him, it's fine! <laughs> Casper mm -hmm. is going to uh, sit against a wall. Okay. Take out an instrument and then just sit silently tuning it. Just not making any noise, just go. All right. Run off. This fucking dragonborn is way too sus, so I just. <laughs> I just. I can't. I reach out, I grab onto Malkir, and rest in peace, last spell slot. I make him invisible. Okay. Yeah, I. It, is there like, are there any like shops or anything like that near where we are? Um, there are, but they don't look open. It is the middle of the night. Right, it was the middle of the night. <laughs> this is we're so suspicious. <laughs> God, this is terrible. There's just a. <laughs> Wow, wow, what's this bard doing tuning his instrument in the middle of the night? <laughs> it's not too bad. Um... <sighs> Alright. So, Ca Cas Casper, Casper is tuning his instruments, looking like a, like a street performer. Malkir is invisible. What is everybody else doing? I'm gonna sit against a wall. All right, B yeah. is just sitting down. I I wanted to find a place to sit, uh, and like kind of pull my cloak over me and look like I'm just some the dude sleeping on the street. Okay, Ruby is uh pretending to be a vagrant. All right. <laughs> I was gonna say Ruby, B, and I should. We can pretend to be our sneaky, uh, our our fake selves. Our oh, that's true. Our detectives. Group. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And no, you're right. It was happening, so we could be like, <laughs> we were going to investigate. Um, you're right. I'm down. Yeah. No, I'm done with that plan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I stand back up. <laughs> Pulling an audible. All right. Other me just oh, cat has no wild shapes left. So that's sad.
she will, I guess, go and sit next to um, Casper because she has a deck of cards. And so she's going to just mess around with her deck of cards. <laughs> and yep, street performers galore. <laughs> All right. Second street for performer. Got it. Mm. And what is Felcrum doing? He's going to sit up against the side of one of the buildings nearby. All right. Street performer, street performer, vagrant, invisible, <laughs> investigation, trio, <laughs> and feces. <laughs> Can't possibly go wrong. No. Actually, he's not going to sit. He's going to lay down and take a nap. Or make it look <laughs> like he's taking a nap. Okay, so Felcrum's the vagrant. Got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Okay, sounds good. Uh. The 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 four NPCs uh are going to kind of like uh move off a little bit away from the the two street performers and the vagrant. Uh, and they're gonna kind of like lock arms. Uh, and be, like, just stumbling in the street like they're coming back from a bender. Nice. Amazing. Also, I think that um, B, Ruby, and I we should turn around and start walking actually in the direction of the incident. Like, we're going yeah. to investigate it and not like we're walking away, because that's really weird <laughs> to be walking yeah. away from the problem. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, and I'm not also, like, right near the where everybody else is. I'm, like, a good 30, 40 feet away. Right, yeah. And uh, for a little added detail for fun, he's going to take his sword and just take a nice little gash on his forehead and just lay down. Okay. <laughs> so an unconscious figure. <laughs> uh, looks like he got hit by something. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take some damage on that, too, so... Okay. Um, yeah. Go, roll like a d4. Alright, you take two points. Alright. Alright. Um. So, then, uh, I need, uh, a performance check from, uh, Casper and Cat. Mm -hmm. uh, a stealth check at advantage from Malkir. And I'd say this would probably also be a performance check from uh, Felcrum. Like you're pretending to be asleep. Yeah, that tracks. All right. Look, you're just doing a bad job pretending to be asleep, which you could then just be like, I just don't want anyone to bother me. Or at least I'm having trouble trying to sleep. Yeah, I'm bleeding into my <laughs> eyes. It's really Go bonk on the I'm, head. Pretend I'm, to be confused. I'm... <laughs> I, I gashed my face so it's not looking like I'm trying to sleep. It looked like I got knocked down. I got yeah, hit you have and a I'm... concussion. Yeah. And he can't get back up again. If you want to go there, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Why did I only write down Ruby's alias? <laughs> Kayla, um, did you write them down? Oh no! <laughs> oh, I, did, I don't. I didn't write down. <laughs> I wrote down my first name. I didn't write down mine, and it was really stupid. <laughs> oh no! Uh, you don't have multiple aliases planned for all the other. No, I do that shit on the fly. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, no, I didn't write them. I didn't write them down. Yeah, okay, just yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, has 
they're all doing their various performances. Um, the three of you from the detective agency, uh, you kind of turn around and start making your way back towards the scene of the crime. Um, you can see the uh, a group of guards uh, making their way down the uh, the main thoroughfare here, uh, just as you kind of like turn into the alleyway. Um, do you stop to wait for them, or are you just continuing on back towards the warehouse? Because that's where the crime is happening. Um. I mean, we sh shouldn't act like we know where the scene of the crime is. So, I mean, I'll be like looking around. Yeah, I'm. I'm inclined for us to to stop and either see if they notice us or see if they catch up to us. If that works with uh, yeah. B and Kit. Yeah, I'm. I'm just following behind Ruby with like as if I'm taking any note on anything she tells me to. I'm following her like, yes, I'm a note taker. <laughs> Alright. Anything suspicious, I will write it down. <laughs> so, um, then, as you guys are just kind of looking around, uh, the uh, the guards kind of uh, come up on all of you, uh, and one of them says, Halt! Who are you? What are you doing here? to the three of you that are just kind of aimlessly looking around at things to try to figure out where the crime is happening. Um, I say, um, my name is Flair. I'm with uh, a detective company that has been investigating some of the odd murders that have been happening in the city as of late. And when we heard the alarms going off, uh, we thought perhaps the next attack had happened. We're trying to find out where the crime was, trying to follow the alarms. And I like I produce my papers as as I'm talking. So they don't have to ask for them. I am low detective co. <laughs> I am low detective co. <laughs> I have that much written down, but I can't find my name. I'm like scouring the YouTube videos. <laughs> God. That's um, I have them. Um, go ahead and make a de deception check at advantage. Do you have the paper? Alright. The guard looks over your paperwork, uh, and I uh, says, Ah, good. Well, uh, have you, have you found the nature of the crime yet? Where, where is it? We heard the alarm and came as soon as possible. We're s still trying to figure it out. You caught us while we were paused trying to tell where the direction of the alarms are um but i think we were going to go it sounds like they're coming from this direction and she'll gesture kind of vaguely in the direction of where she knows the warehouse to be but like not directly in that direction just kind of like a vague gesture in that direction
We haven't seen anything else yet. We might not be close enough. I see. Well, uh, we'll follow you then. And then he looks over at the rest of you, uh, just kind of hanging out in the streets. Uh, and uh, he points to a couple of the other guards. He's like, you two, clear the streets. I don't want any vagabonds dealing with the getting in the way of the investigation. To which these two guards kind of go off and basically like start kind of like shooing <laughs> Casper and Cat to to go home, uh, and telling the the drunken NPCs to head back to. Okay, yeah, I'll leave. As uh just as you're about to leave uh with the guards flare, um one of the uh two kinda shuts out Sergeant! This man over here, he's unconscious. He looks like he's been in some kind of fight. As he is gesturing to Felcrum, lying on the ground with a bloody forehead. Hmm. He might be involved. Bring him with us. <laughs> the two guards uh, that have cleared the street basically uh, go over to Felcrum uh, and they move to pick you up, Felcrum. Mm, they can. All right. So. <laughs> They kind of strain under the weight of you and your armor uh, and start dragging you uh, back towards uh, the rest of the guards who then uh, turn and uh, wait for Ruby to lead the way. Yeah, I, I start to lead the way. I don't take a direct route intentionally. All right. Uh, go ahead. I would say this would be a uh, deception wisdom check. Okay. Are you proficient with deception? Not today. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> then go ahead and just make a wisdom check then. Okay. That's true. All right, the guards don't seem to notice anything strange about the path you take. Uh, and eventually, uh, you make it back to the warehouse, uh, where there are other guards that uh, are currently in the process of cordoning off the area. Uh, the I was to say, do the do the guards we're with seem like they're about to say something, or are they looking for for me to say something? Uh, the the sergeant uh, who's kind of leading that small group of guards kind of walks up to this other group of guards that are already establishing a perimeter, uh, and uh, he'll introduce you as. Uh, Detective Flair, who uh, works with the city, and he is deferring to you to take the lead on this investigation. Uh, he also points out the person of interest that is the unconscious Felcrum, uh, and kind of, they just deposit Felcrum uh, next to some crates and put a couple guards on him 
uh, to watch him uh, in case he wakes up. Uh, they do bind your hands as well, Fulcrum. All right. All right, so, Detective Flair, you uh, have the lead. What do you do? Um... I'll investigate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm look around. See <laughs> that I'm committed. Um, uh, also, uh, see but, but, this crime scene. I've made this crime scene. <laughs> but before we go too much into the investigation, uh, Casper said he left. Um, the NPCs would leave too. We'll say that Cat left with Casper. Yeah. Uh, what about Invisible Malk here? What are you doing? <laughs> Giant invisible dragonborn. Nestor. Alright, well, Nestor, Nestor, so I'm just gonna assume... Oh, wait, he just said yeah. something. Okay. I'm still, for the most part, the invisibility is still holding, I imagine. Even an hour. Yeah. Yep. yeah, for an hour. Probably just get, get the hell out of Dodge right now. Okay, so you're just kind of leaving with Casper and Cat then? Yeah, keep an eye on them. Really? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, so back to the warehouse then. Um, I'll, I guess I'll keep talking to the sergeant? Is that who's standing in front of me? Yeah. Um... And I'll kind of motion for Kit slash Eugenie <laughs> to start um, <laughs> taking taking notes. Thank you, YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Eugenie Bark reporting for duty. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot the last name was Bark. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still just following like right near you writing down anything you tell me to write down. Yeah, so uh, I look at the sergeant and I say, so what do you know so far? Are you talking about the sergeant that you came here with? Oh, uh, no. Whoever looks like they might be like in charge at the crime scene. That would be you. <laughs> oh god, that's me? <laughs> oh. This is going great. If, if, if you're wondering who the first responder is, uh, they they would point you to one of the guards. <laughs> okay, then, yeah, I, I'm trying to find, like, who whoever has been here the longest and can tell me what they know so far. Got it. Sorry, I confused the sergeant that came with us with the non-existence of another sergeant. <laughs> the one you made up on the way here. <laughs> One of those in my brain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the first responder, uh, being uh, a another guard, uh, a bit smaller than you, looks to be about a gnome, a gnome guard. Uh, he says, "Ah, uh, well, um, we heard a disturbance and came to check it out. Uh, uh got here, um." A few minutes ago, uh, shortly after, this warehouse seemed to collapse in on itself. Um, we immediately uh, started putting up a perimeter as uh, more guards were brought in by the alarms. Um, from what we can gather, uh, it didn't completely collapse. It just seems to be the northern end of the warehouse. Uh, we found uh, several... Uh, unconscious uh, figures uh, in and out of the property. Uh, they all seem to be uh, guards of a House Augusto. Um, and from what we can gather, uh, this warehouse also seems to be owned by the same family. So, uh, maybe they were here just to protect the warehouse and burglary gone wrong? Alright, thank you for your report. I'm gonna go take a look around. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna be poking through the debris, like, pretending I don't know what's already there. Wow, look at this! Look at this! Uh, burn <laughs> well, that's a lot, that's a lot of wood. Wow, yeah, I wonder what could be under all this. Hmm. <laughs> shame what happened here, huh? Alright. Are, are any of you actually investigating, or are you just pretending to investigate? investigate okay yeah, there might be stuff here that you know we didn't see when we first got here yeah for yeah. You know, our more not and, uh, and also anything. and also like in the process looking for anything that might incriminate us yeah, yeah. That, that's really the big one i think <laughs> i also want to see if the fucking body of this bitch ass chosen is still under all this debris if ever, you know, you just see, like, a pinky or something sticking out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not, like, gonna start digging where I know he is or where I, I knew he was, but, you know, just keeping an eye out. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead and make an investigation check, whoever would like to. Let's go, team. All of us, as a team. Go, Here we go! Everybody, click the button! Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, as you guys kind of like, uh, you walk around the exterior of the warehouse, uh, you do see, uh, like the guard said, that it just seems to be the northern end of the warehouse that collapsed. Um, there are several kind of figures uh, that are uh, kind of like leaning up against one end of the warehouse, uh, being watched by guards. Uh, they, uh, these are the unconscious figures of the guards uh, that Lady Augusta came with uh, that did not leave with her. Uh, much like Fulcrum, they are currently have their hands bound just because uh, they're unconscious, so they might be people of interest. Um, you uh, you head inside the warehouse uh, to see that, uh, unsurprising as you were just here, uh, it does look like uh, there was a fight in the warehouse um the part not covered by the collapsed roof there is debris scattered all around from crates that got smashed um uh ruby you do notice uh that uh and b you notice this too that there are like some like small like remnants of like uh like arrows from those that shot such things, but I don't think any of you have, like, specific enough arrows that it could be traced back to you. Yeah. yeah and I the think so. And the Chosen wasn't using arrows, right? He was just zipping down, smacking, and zipping back up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, whether the Chosen is uh, still underneath the uh, collapsed roof or not, you do not know. I'll take some of the arrow bits as evidence. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I look like we're doing something. Yep. Uh -huh. Um, gotta be authentic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna collect a couple of whole arrows just to have them. <laughs> oh, sweet, my arrows. <laughs> <laughs> um, did the entirety of this structure collapse or was it just like a, a part of it or like it was just the north end of the warehouse where you all were kind of localized the okay. south the south end of the warehouse and uh like um the like adjoining rooms are all still standing that was gonna be my question. I was just gonna say, can those adjoining rooms that were like off to the side were those like are those still standing or were those also? 
uh, taken out. But I guess if they're still standing, we can yeah. take a look at them. Yeah, they are still standing. Uh, there is one room that you can't really get to because it's blocked by the collapsed roof. Yep. But the other ones that you, uh, you can get to, including the one uh, that uh, Malkir ran off into and Casper destroyed the door. Oh, thank God. Definitely go check that one out and make sure that there's nothing left behind. <laughs> Um, as we're kind of taking this, like, initial look around, is the sarcophagus visible at all? Um, not that you can see, no. Okay. Do I find anything in the adjoining room? Uh, you would find more uh, evidence of uh, a struggle, uh, but there's nothing in here that, like, like other than like blood stains, like there's nothing in here that would like come mm -hmm. back to the party. Okay. And uh, I don't think. Dragonborn blood is like a specific color. I think it's just normal blood. I mean, if we want, we can we can say that like uh, <laughs> different races have different blood, but I I usually don't go that route. I'm fine with not going well, said, that route. I was gonna say Valkyrie is sus enough as it is. We don't need his sus blood <laughs> everywhere as well. Like. <laughs> We don't. We don't need it to be as emerald as the skin. Uh. <laughs> That'd be actually really dope, though. If Dragonborn blood matched the color of their scales, that'd be pretty sick. Would be pretty cool. Mm. Not right now, however. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> different campaign. Well, how how about this? Let's let's roll for it. Oh god! Uh, I open if... my fucking mouth. <laughs> uh one way we'll say that uh you can tell what type of like D, D race you are based on the color of your blood okay. uh or it, it might just be all blood kind of looks the same all uh, blood. <laughs> so tori do you want high or low uh, I mean, hi <laughs> you don't trust either number <laughs> uh but we're high and low co i want both i'll take high Hi. Okay. Yeah. 420 blaze it yellow. All right. So 11 or higher, all blood kind of looks the same. Uh, all right. Yes! yes! <laughs> uh, thank you, 420. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll say that uh, for to be able to like identify like a race by stop their blood, it has to be like tested. It's not just like a yeah. ah, this is clearly dragonborn blood. <laughs> <laughs> they do that thing where you just like rub it between your fingers and somehow instantly know everything about the person who like left it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull a CSI Miami and like literally know everything not specifically time. Miami yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best one come on um our <laughs> our kit B and I like in this little side room by ourselves is there any like guardsmen close enough to us or could we have a quick uh whisper conversation you could have a quick whisper conversation there's no like there's no guards like actively like watching it we're not <laughs> sus, so we're good. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> um, so, so, I'm standing with the two of them. Um, I say... I wasn't able to see... The... Uh, I wasn't able to see what we had come for through the rubble. And we think we should encourage them or not encourage them to start moving everything i mean they'll, they'll probably start moving everything regardless the longer i feel like if we encourage them it just speeds up a timeline so i feel like we just let them do it at whatever pace they plan on doing it okay. um 
also technically our original investigation didn't involve so much destruction property, pro property you know? damage it was also just like yeah. investigating somebody who died in an alley so you know, we could always sort of extricate ourselves from this by being like this probably isn't related to our investigation um if we have to anyways um might might be our wisest move and then say we'll check back in once uh we'll check back in later to see if anything was uncovered yeah unless they do if they do f not maybe force us but encourage us to stay on for this one it would also not be bad because then we can find out know, where they take it Take, we'll find out where they take it, and then also it would give us a chance to reconnect with Lady Llama. Who I just refused to learn True. the actual name. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> so sorry, Mike, but it's just other me has corrupted that name for all time. Um, Lady I mean... Palama Augusta. I yeah. wrote that name down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't take it personally. I got it from a random name generator. <laughs> uh, I literally have it written down in my notes as Lady Llama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this would also maybe allow us to quote unquote investigate her and we could probably clear her and then sort of get on her good side in that regard and have that as a You know, it's, it gives us a chance. Owe us, you owe us one. <laughs> it gives us a chance to maybe talk to her before somebody mm -hmm. else can. We can get our collective story straight. Something that doesn't incriminate either of us. Yeah. She's probably in Hopefully the clear. Hopefully, she'll still buy this, this stuff. Is her warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, she's in the clear because it's her warehouse, but also sort of suspicious because it's her warehouse. Again, they said, like, the guards were here, so were the guards here just to protect the warehouse? Were the guards here for some other reason? I mean, she's pretty high up there, so they're probably going to assume the best of her, not the worst, but... Mm -hmm. And maybe they... a reason to see her. Yeah. Also, what are we going to do about Velcrum? <laughs> well, I mean, didn't they just grab him because they just didn't want anybody interfering so once we're done I mean, we can just be like hey you should probably let that guy go I mean he's a person of interest and so they can prove that he had nothing to do with this we can interrogate him <laughs> I think we're going to have to. All right. Well, we can just do that and then take down his information, and then if ever you know, don't leave the city, sort of thing. <laughs> 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 you know, make sure we know where we can find you. <laughs> yeah. So we should be able to get Falcom out of here. Okay. I think that should be our next move. That way, he has time to get further away. All right. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> we finish looking around inside. Let's circle back around to Falcrum. Okay. So you uh, walk up to the quote unquote unconscious form of <laughs> Falcrum. I don't think anybody saw me gash my forehead either, so. Nope! <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> We had already walked weird. away to go pretend to be <laughs> these people, so. Luckily, none of you are below half health, so it doesn't look like you're bloody. <laughs> I I am definitely writing that line. You sure are. But I am also <laughs> writing that line by a point, I'll have yep, you know. Yep, you are exactly <laughs> one above half. Not even one, half a point above I'm half. I'm half a point above half <laughs> at 15 of 29. Like, I am 
<laughs> so on the edge. <laughs> well, also well, keep in mind, we did level up, so our health did just go up. So I don't think it would have technically showed. Oh, that's showed. true. Technically, I'd actually be higher than, yeah, we did just level up. Yeah, we wouldn't yep. get that until we wake up. Be with my higher health, I am also I still right on that line. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll so, go over to we'll... our <laughs> unconscious pal over here, quote unquote mm -hmm. unconscious. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll um kind of squat down next to Felcrum <laughs> and just say, uh. Excuse me, are are you awake? And just kind of give him a, a gentle fake. Uh. I'll stand like I'm the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I have you written down as. Yeah, that's all we've said you are, yeah. is that you're a muscle. <laughs> yeah, you're the muscle. <laughs> yeah, he'll stir and he'll say, why are my hands tied? Well, there's been some unfortunate activity in the area, and the guards found you unconscious on the side of the street, and wanted to make sure you had no involvement. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go right ahead. While she's doing this, are any of the guards that are maybe, you know, here, are any of them, um, like, paying attention to our little interrogation or are they doing their own shit? Um, well, there's the two guards that were kind of stationed here to watch over Felcrum who are still kind of standing there. They're, they're not like watching you, watching you, but they're kind of okay. like paying attention uh, okay. as they continue to be like uh, in position. Um, I would say that uh, as you guys are kind of like beginning the interrogation process, the uh, the watch sergeant would also kind of like come over, just kind of be there, present, just not not to help in the interrogation, just to witness it. Okay. That's all. Continue on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, can you tell me a little bit about your evening? Looks like you've got, uh, quite the hit on the head. Yeah, I was drinking with some friends, and, uh, we got stupid. I, uh, I bet them that I could take a 2 by 4 to the face. I think you might have been marginally successful there. Still walking around to tell the tale about it. Yeah, but that's all I remember. Next thing I know, I'm here with my hands tied. Don't remember hearing any, any commotion, any... Just didn't wake up until we started talking. I mean, there was five of us walking, so it was it was a lot of rowdy bullshit. I don't I don't remember hearing anything else. All right, can can I get your name? Uh, Falcrum. What's a good place for us to find you, Felcrum, if we've got any more questions? I will say the name of the inn because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Okay, that's fine. Because I never wrote it down. Nice. Yeah, that was... It's the wooded meerkat? I think that's it. Or is it? I mean, I have two. I have the name of a tavern <laughs> written down as the Wooded Meerkat, and then I also have something. Oh no, that's nope. That's not a tavern. Never mind. I still think that must be it. 
<laughs> I don't think I wrote down what tavern we decided to stay in. <laughs> See, the tavern I have here from Tori's document is the new turkey. <laughs> right, yes, we are. We're staying at the turkey. We are at the turkey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I remember how excited I was that we got to stay at the turkey. <laughs> All right, well, let me see if I can... I'll talk to the guard sergeant and see if we can get you on your way. And if you've got any follow-up questions, uh, maybe once you're feeling a bit better, um, we'll track you down. Sounds good. Can I have some kind of rag? This is dripping into my eye. Of course. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll pull a chunk of cloth out of my pocket. Probably something that may or may not have previously been in a disguise kit. <laughs> and <laughs> Something that got ripped in order to make something else. And <laughs> yeah. Always gotta hang on to your fabric scraps. Um, and I'll, I'll hand it to Fulcrum. He'll take it and he'll press it against his head. Uh, and then I'll look at the kit and I say, did you get all that? I nod. As it's really easy to remember, as it is his real, the name we know him as, <laughs> and the inn where we are staying. <laughs> um, Did, ooh, I don't know if I wrote this down. When we were talking to Captain Luke, Captain Luke, mm -hmm. yeah. did did we tell him, we told him where to find us, right? Yes. We and we, we told had, him the truth because we had to write it down on our yeah well, Captain Luke specifically. It's just we had to write it down on our um uh, our signing up with the. Uh, and, like signing up our, our our agency. Okay. Great. That's what I thought. I just wanted to double check. Um. So I'll walk up to the guards, the, the sergeant, uh, and I'll say, "I think we can let him go." Um. Seems like he just got into a bit of a tussle with his friends. Uh. Drunk. Stupid said he could get hit in the head with a two by four and walk away from it. Um, he stays at the same inn that we're staying at right now. I've seen him a couple of times. Yes, seems to be a decent guy. Just got a little too drunk and a little too stupid. Ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. But if I have further questions for him, once his head's feeling a bit better, at least I know where to find him. All right. I'll trust your judgment on this. Have the, um, have Lady Llama's guards started to wake up? Uh, no, because unlike Velcrum, they're actually unconscious. They're actually unconscious? Okay, I didn't know <laughs> how long they were going to be unconscious for. <laughs> One to four hours. <laughs> so right. at least another 30 minutes. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, I'll sort of point at them uh, then, and I'll ask, I guess, the the watch sergeant who's here, where where are they going to be if we need to ask them questions? Well, we'll uh, we're probably going to wait for them to wake up and take their statements, uh, as they all seem to be uh, employed by the owner of the warehouse. Uh, it wouldn't be too hard to track them down, so. Uh, but we'll we'll take down their information, like where they live and whatnot, as part of taking their statement. Has anybody contacted the owners of the warehouse to let them know that something's happened? Uh, we are trying to get a hold of them. Uh, however, it is. Uh, rather late in the evening, uh, and 
Uh, they are uh, what seems to be a noble house, so we don't exactly want to disturb them if it's nothing too pressing. Of course. As far as I can tell, uh, doesn't look like anybody got seriously hurt. So I don't think it's too pressing at the moment. Once, uh, I... once we contact them, we can, uh, get a manifest of everything in the warehouse and see if there was anything that was stolen. Very good. I don't think there's anything we need to look at here in the time being. We'll let you all get back to your work and we'll follow up with the station. Uh, sometime... Have we crossed into tomorrow, or <laughs> it's are we still in? It's, it's technically after midnight, if that's what you're asking. Okay. Um, <laughs> so and see we'll... you later today. <laughs> She'll start to say, we'll check in with you tomorrow, and then she stops and, says, and kind of laughs a little and says, oh, I guess a little later this morning? Of course, Inspector. God, you've upgraded from detective. Ooh, I have. I know. This guy just promoted you. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job. <laughs> Two fake investigations later, and you're in a Damn. <laughs> we should change career paths. <laughs> we should take this seriously. <laughs> Imagine how I I yeah, take this role so very well. seriously. <laughs> Imagine how fast we'd climb through the ranks if we actually took it serious. Oh, don't forget, uh, Flair the Fire Queen has gained some local popularity. <laughs> That's right! I'm an upstanding citizen of this I community! Like, I like how these guards are like, huh, this girl who was just at a flaming building is now investigating another building that collapsed. What? <laughs> hmm. Different district, different guards. <laughs> Fair, but damn, that's impressive. That's some car that's some compartmentalization <laughs> if I've ever used. <laughs> that's imp How many building collapses can I be a part of? <laughs> before, oh, someone starts I, suspicious. before someone starts asking the real questions. You know, I swear to god, if there is another building that collapses while we're in town. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go into hiding. Somebody's gonna have to yeah. start asking questions. You're gonna have to go into hiding with Valkyria. No, no yeah. that's when we all just say fuck this and leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Before we go, though, I will ask the the, the watch sergeant here. Um, if we need to go and speak with the the noble house, will we have any issues from any of the the watch in that area? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, you're... You have the correct paperwork with you. Uh, you should be able to get in, no problem. Uh, okay, whether whether the sure. whether the noble will speak to you, though, is a different matter entirely. They're under no real obligation to speak with us. Unless they're... Well... Unless they're, we, we have a warrant for their arrest. Understandable. Just wanted to double check. Good to know. Thank you. Of course. Uh, could... <laughs> could Mr. Felgrim's bindings be removed? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> and they will remove Felgrim's <laughs> bindings. <laughs> Here's the thing. We're about to go through the awkward situation of they're going to unband Velcrum and all four of us are going to start walking in the oh, same no, direction. But you already, we already <laughs> said that he stays at the same inn as us, so I was actually going to help Velcrum up, give him sort of like oh, a pat, like, nice. okay, buddy, yeah. we'll make sure he gets back in one piece and doesn't, you know, you don't find him sleeping in another alley or anything in your way. A good we'll thought. get him out of your hair. As if we are doing the biggest service in the world to these guards, so they don't have to escort him back. We'll do it for them. 
Kereteado. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll start. We'll head out. <laughs> Felgrim in tow. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yeah. I really uh, wanted to stay here until a guard woke up to just be like, "Don't say anything." <laughs> but. <laughs> I will lean on them to play it out until we are far enough out of sight. Then I will use my last two points of lay on hands to heal my head and then walk normally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't lean on us too heavily. None of us are strong. I was oh, I wasn't of... putting all my weight on you guys. I was using the assistance of a friend to help me, you know, yeah. get over my drunken stupor. We're all made of paper. I've done I'm the that muscle. before, so... Yeah. I'm the muscle coming from the girl who's like, how tall are you? Like, <laughs> Velcro leaning on you is leaning thing. on your head. <laughs> oh, Alright, and with that, uh, everybody makes it back to the inn with no more problems. Ew. Go team. We'll check in with the other NPCs. Did they make it back? Yeah, they made it back. Oh, good. Then I will inform them, look, if any guards come asking, we made a bet that you could hit me with a 2x4 and I could walk away, and I failed. Okay? All right, good. <laughs> it's an important part yes. of, of this. Yeah. Cover story. It's very important. It. It's the cover story. It's my alibi. <laughs> <laughs> my alibi. I got beat over the head with a stick of wood. Self-inflicted? Yeah. Absolutely just airtight alibi. <laughs> hey, nobody saw it was self-inflicted. They just happened to see me and then, oh, okay, he's bleeding now. What What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, Athelos will just say, sounds right to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy pants over there. Athelos is like, you mean you can't? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's Athos, it. I did it. Another ten gold. I Come did on. I did it once and I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh god. Um, I how long? Well, I I don't know how long it takes us to get back to the inn. I'm imagining that invisibility probably wears off while we're on our way back. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I would say. Uh, Malkir well, probably made it back still invisible. Yeah, but... Mal Malkir can make it back invisible, but you would know that the spell would end. Before okay. you got there. Okay, I just want to, when we get to the end, I want to check and make sure that Malkir did in fact make it. <laughs> just hanging out in the room that we have. Just like, okay, yep. It pops back into existence after an hour. Can we, like, gather at least, like, this, the core group up into a room to talk? All right. I, by that, I'm guessing no NPCs. I mean, we can bring Arthur if we want. Like, this is mostly just to like lay out what happened. I mean, can all of us fit in there with all of our NPCs? Yeah, you <laughs> fit the entire squad of us. I mean, it's also like 2 a.m. There's nobody in the bar except That's true. for like the the late like the early morning bartender who could be convinced to go for a walk. <laughs> I have one silver to my name to convince this bartender to go for a walk. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. While well, she's not, how much money does she? How much money do you have, other? What? <laughs> I'm gonna find out. She's slowly been siphoning gold from everyone. Well, she did steal a bunch of money from a fountain. Yeah, that's true. She did get a bunch of money from that fountain. I didn't realize she had this much money, though! And that's after spending all of the money I gave her on the stuff for me! Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, good shit. <laughs> I mean, she does have the sin of greed. So. No, I know. I just didn't expect her. I just wasn't the number. I didn't expect it to be that much, that's all. <laughs> I just... <laughs> When I look at my character sheet next to hers, it's just, you know, it's <laughs> very sad. Tennis, all right. We're very broke. Yeah. So, broke. broke. 
Look, you can't oh. all just write being rich into your backstory. <laughs> Listen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Only you get to do that. Yeah, only, only Mike's <laughs> characters can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, just looking at the group, do we do we want to convince the bartender to leave, or do we just want to sit in a corner for a hot minute? I'm fine sitting in a corner. Yeah, we can just, we can just, we can just chill. And there's no guards in here, I'm assuming. No. No, there's us and the bartender. Just checking. <laughs> I'm just checking. Yeah, this is this is like <laughs> a chill check. enough like in and tavern that they don't usually have the need for like a bouncer <laughs> at the new turkey <laughs> yeah at the new <laughs> turkey they don't they don't usually need a bouncer at the new turkey it's usually <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a fine establishment yeah. no nobody is getting too rowdy here yeah <sighs> okay uh, all right like we'll just yeah we'll just, yeah. we'll just we'll just chill in our corner yeah and then we recap what happened at the warehouse that we're gonna check back in later today with uh, the guards to see what they've learned um, and then say but we should be able to go we should check in with Lady Llama as well Yes, and I think the three of us should do that mm -hmm. as early as possible. Yeah, like, like a go to sleep, get up, and go right away sort of situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we should bring Cat with us that way. Um, she'll be able to come as a cat. So. <laughs> exact. Exactly. I figure we can just bring yeah. her as a cat, and that way. Um. Lady Augusta might be more willing to talk to us. Or she might just turn us away. I, I'd i honestly give it 50-50 odds. Listen, they said that they were going to try and get an inventory of what was in that warehouse. So she could literally just tell them that that was already in the warehouse. Exactly. And then she could just give us some money and then... She can keep the thing, and we won't put up a fuss yeah. about it, and we'll cover for her and why her guards were there. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. So I think, I think it's, straightforward. I feel like it's a, like a win-win all around. She yeah. might not want to yeah. give us as much. I would be fine, even if she yeah. gives less, but just to get something for it, obviously. What do we do if she doesn't, if she keeps it and doesn't give us a damn thing? We could technically throw her under the bus for the, for the crime. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, we should. We can make a bigger stink about the fact that about the body that they find. Yada yada yada. I mean, if they if they find a body, that's true. If I guess we didn't technically see it there. That is fairly true. But I mean, those guards made it right as we left, practically. So unless he just wasn't dead and somehow escaped like they're pretty sure there's gonna be a body in there unless the guards cover it up well that's even better if the guards want to cover up the murder then it would seem even easier <laughs> i don't see why they would want to cover it up though they've sort of have been having murder issues in this city so They would probably want and to try and find a way to connect that one to the other ones. Their feelings on the Chosen are a bit uh, mixed. Yeah, that's fair. So. Captain Luke wasn't exactly his biggest fan, so... Why is I mean, some people might be happy if he, you know, he, if he's found, you know, impaled. Yes, yes, yes. some people will be. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> some people are ecstatic. To be honest, if we had time, I would have gone back and took his head, but, you know, we didn't have time, so. Yeah, we've been on a bit of a time crunch with the, you know, collapsing building and all, but I'm with you. That's one head I really wouldn't have minded you just, you know, taking off of someone's body. Just to know for sure. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, well, well that seems like uh, pretty much the roundup. Well, now we know for sure that none of us are really safe in any of our cities. Since apparently, uh, we've got vigilantes. Mercy. All right, do you all also have vigilantes waiting for you if ever we stumble back into your stomping ground? Because that's an issue. I mean, <laughs> you already know so. about the masked macaque that I told you about. <laughs> I don't. Everybody loves me. I, I don't believe you. I Anyways. hope not. I believe you. <laughs> Say, so, well, I never want to see that guy again. I don't know if I would exactly call him a vigilante. Would you yeah. Be? No, I mean, he just kind of. <laughs> he just was like, hey, you guys are doing wrong things. Time to go. And I was like, I don't want to go. And then he got us anyway. <laughs> it sounds so familiar. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to run. He caught up with us very easily. I think it just blipped into running? existence. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions as I look at the NPCs? <laughs> <laughs> um Arthur kind of speaks. I was like, so I have more of a logistical question. Assuming she does come through on the deal and she pays us. How exactly does that work? In what way? Like, are we just going to be carrying around, like, big heavy bags of money until we spend it, or...? I mean, it kind of depends, I guess, on how much she gives us, if she gives us any, but... Also, how... Well, what's the split we're looking at here? Given that, yep. you know... I think in all honesty, whatever money we each get from what's divided, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. You don't have to carry it around. You could spend it. You could invest it. You could how much hold on to it. It doesn't matter. could one fit inside a bag of holding? <laughs> We like are not, we are amount, not right? giving the entire amount of gold that we receive. No, no, this is, this is <laughs> like a not love putting game. It in, no, we're not putting it into Kat's bag of holding. I'll buy a bag of holding with we'll the money I have. We'll never see it again. It <laughs> well, well, no, if I, I, can, can, I could convince her to take it out. Um, Don't but... believe you, but all right. <laughs> I could because we would, you know, it, it it would lead to problems if not. Um, but it's mostly just the fact that it's it's he is it, it's more just along the logistical question of like that would be a lot of money and it would look pretty suspicious for just to have us walking out of there, which is why I'm wondering how much could we fit in the bag to make it look like not so much. A bag of holding, I've done the math before, can carry about three hundred eighty-four thousand coins. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, that seems a little high. Oh, it's 64 cubic feet, and you got to account for... Did you change your you know, there? 64 cubic feet? Where are you, where are you getting feet from? Uh, it's, a, I, it's, a, it's a pound uh, question. Well, there's, cause there's 50 gold on a pound. You can carry about 500 pounds. So that's 50 2, times. Yeah. 2,500. But, yeah, you know, I that, that's a also went about the round about Different weight. number. Yeah, much bit, much different number. <laughs> Regardless, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you just tell her, we just tell her that she has to give it to us in platinum. <laughs> she, might, she might very well do it in platinum anyway. Use it to transport. Pay hey, you with classical artwork. <laughs> Deal. No! This marble statue. <laughs> Ah, oh, wonderful. Something else to carry around. Um, logistic, Logistics-wise, I mean, until we really know how much we're dealing with, it's sort of hard to come up with any kind of plan. Mm -hmm. Right, I just, like... 
the whole getting jumped in the middle of our deal thing just I I'm a bit I'm a bit paranoid now. And it's like like if we leave and then like we like if if for instance we don't want to stay in the city forever, we just want to go elsewhere. It's like what's to stop us from getting robbed again and technically oh, forever. Technically we weren't robbed. We were ambushed ambushed interrupted yeah it was more interrupted because technically it wasn't stolen from us we were forced to leave it behind <laughs> True. yeah but that was only because we were able to kill him like what if like if he if he hadn't have died then he could have just absconded away with it himself yeah and then i would have every right to you know to just stab it Really curious how he was planning on moving it after the warehouse. I'm not like, yeah, gonna not, good point. Not light. That's where I'm just like, did he have like a cart nearby or something to like load it into, and then he was gonna take like I don't well, see he, anything around, but he lifted it with his mind. You're right. He did. That is what he was doing. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that part. Mm-hmm. Or magic or something. I don't know. Well. I mean, one way or another. I feel like we should just get the money and then deal with about <laughs> the issue of keeping it once we have it. There's... It's... Not really. There's no way to really prepare for being ambushed, other than being prepared to be ambushed. That there's. You have to, unfortunately, expect the unexpected. Yeah. Let's focus on getting the money yeah. first, then we can figure out what we're gonna do with it. I mean, while we're okay. gone, while we're gone, because obviously we can't have everybody just meandering through the lavish quarter. I don't so, even think we can get everybody into the lavish quarter. Exactly. Our paperwork only covers the three of us. So while we're away, that's something that all of you could work on is a means of either transportation or coming up with a plan for, or, I don't know, taking a look around to see if anyone's watching you guys or watching us or, you know. Holds up scroll of pedigree. I think I've got myself covered at least. You are, no, you're literally a potential suspect in that murder investigation. You're not getting in anywhere. Murder investigation? You also realize I used an alias, right? Your alias doesn't cover and I gesture to the way just like all of him. Okay, but, okay, in Malcolm's I feel defense, like there's a... He could and... use the same excuse I plan on using if they try to arrest me for escaping an asylum, which is, gee, do you think all fire ganassi look the same or something? That's haven't a good exactly one. seen a lot of us running around, haven't like seen a lot of Dragonborn running around. It is also kind of... No, it costs $150. There is an air of, really? Really? We're, we're gonna do this song and dance over yep. the fact that there's potentially another one of us in the city? I feel like as much as there are more than just humans in the city, probably not too difficult for them to A, pick out the Dragonborn, specifically your color of Dragonborn, and ask questions of the Dragonborn, like... <laughs> in any case... You can, I can hit them use... with the, you can hit them with the, do you think we're all the same? But at a certain point, they're going to be like, no, but there's not that many of you. So <laughs> our chances are high of getting the right one. <laughs> well, and he wasn't, he wasn't being investigated for a murder. It was just whatever the happened at the, single piece office. of paper. The, right, sorry, not the murder for the, for the issue at the, yeah. For the theft of a single piece of paper. An important confused. enough piece of paper, mind you. Yeah, the third thing I'm, I'm pretty sure on. eventually I mean, they'll be like, be we the have the most important thing anymore. Again, if they're still mad over a piece of paper, 
They need to get their priorities straight. They're not mad over the piece of paper. They're mad over the crime. All right. It's just the fact that it's crime. And then there's also a really large amount of crime currently occurring that they're probably trying to see how things are connected. They could have... We're not the only people looking into this. There's a separate... There's an entire investigative department within the government that could be looking at this from a much bigger perspective, trying to see if they can connect mm. the dots. And I'll have you know that currently... There are two of the dots. No. So it's not super far-fetched like for somebody else to maybe make the connection. They are... It's not like they are, in fact, unrelated. We're related to two of these dots. In my mind, I'm thinking to myself, maybe a third, but we don't really know if it was, in fact, Athelos that murdered that person in that alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we could, in fact, be related to all three dots. <laughs> Your suspicion is warranted. Uh -uh. But again... Do you want to go back to jail? Or actual jail, and not an asylum, but real jail? That's, That's what this, I thought. This city, your city, <laughs> is a pain in my fucking ass. I don't know, we all hate this city. Or at least- After we get our money, are we leaving? I'm inclined I to. It, trying to hold back her sadness at everybody saying that they hate it here. She's like, man, I love it here. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't have to be- Because you're a changeling. No, I love it here regardless. I hate the bureaucracy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, when we get our money, we probably should leave before, or, you know, before things get crazier. Or make, make sure in case do we have any, does anybody have any purchases planned before we leave? Yeah. Because we do kind of lack, you know, Transportation. All right. How about this? Let's do a bit of dividing and conquering tomorrow. Three of us will continue with this weird investigation thing we've got going on, so we can get into the lavish quarter, talk to Lady Augusta, and in a ideal world, we'll get paid. We'll come back, and things will be fine. And perhaps some of you can look into potential transportation op options tomorrow. See if we can get horses. Make sure we can even leave this city without needing another form of paperwork. So if we do need paperwork to leave, that's going to take time. Either to get actual paperwork or for me to try and make some up. We could always, in the name of our investigation, go check out at the gate just to, you know, see what sort of say security they do have going on right now for leaving, as well as it, like we already know what entering is, but we could say, you know, in the name of our investigation, we just want to know sort of what the process is and how worried we should be about potential suspects leaving, yada yada yada. Yeah. So an option. I say while well, we have the ability to use our, you know, agency, we should as much as we can yeah. before it either, you know, gets taken away or you know, from someone else. <laughs> what I use it for is a way to get some information without asking too many questions. Mm. It's the way I've always done things. It looks a lot more suspicious when random people want to know <laughs> the ins and outs of how one leaves the city versus people actively looking for criminals. Less suspicious. True. On that note, I'm exhausted. So if anyone has anything else to add, speak now or I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I'm planning on sleeping too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bye. Well, whatever we decide. I am sick of staying. God damn it. Your complaints have been noted multiple times. 
Suck and it up. Honestly, <laughs> I very will murder valid. somebody who lives here. That's the problem. If you, you want to leave this in, please control the tendencies, would you? Yep, I'm, 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 I'm just going to say, if, if you want to go for a walk, go ahead. Just realize that you might not make it back because you are a person of interest. So if, if you really want to go because you're so tired of, you know, being here, do it. Go ahead. See what happens. True. One less person to split the money with, so. Noted. Not that I trust you anyone to not. Go ahead. Okay. I was going to say, also, maybe don't kill anyone who lives here, since the majority of us living here, well, it's us. And then the employees. So, yeah. Alright, I'm I'm going to bed. Mm, same. Yeah, I'm going to bed. I will also be going to sleep. Yeah, I'm definitely going to bed. I got a headache. <laughs> 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 All right. Is everybody going to bed? Yes. I think yep. so. I think the only person who didn't say anything was Malkir. I said yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then everybody gains the benefits of a long rest and your level up. <laughs> <laughs> Level five. Level five. I also thought it was funny someone changed uh, Ruby and B's level to be level five when I specifically left them at level four because they hadn't changed I... anything on their sheet yet. <laughs> oh, I mean, I just I just changed mine to level five like thirty minutes into this game. I know. I had to do it in the in the. Right next to Monk. I did it in the HP, but not anywhere else. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. I, changed, I changed my HP, and then it adds my ability when I change it to level 5. Mm. I don't have anything yeah, else was, to add. Was, uh, Great, I get a candy dollar. Cheerio. That changed it, because I was like, why are these two still at 5? You must have <laughs> forgot about them. Or at 4. <laughs> Josh was like, that's weird. Um... Uh, on our on our uh, rest, Rooney, uh, could we just take a small break? Yeah, sure. We can Thanks. take a quick break here. Sounds good. So I will send us off to break. So we'll be back in about ten-ish minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye.
have returned. All right. So it is the next morning, uh, a bit later in the morning, uh, in order for you all to get your full eight hours. Um, but it's a couple hours before noon. And so it was the detective agency. We're heading off to go speak with Lady Augusto. Uh, and then what, what was the other group doing or groups if there were multiple groups? I don't know how many other groups there are, but Casper's just going to go out on his own. Alright, Casper going solo. Oh yeah, Cat was going to go with the detectives as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I know at one point there was conversation about people trying to check out if there was a good way out of the city, but I don't know if we decided to put that on the back burner until we found out what sort of paperwork we need to leave the city. Yeah, I think that was also you guys. Yeah. I guess, uh, is there anything that Felkrum and Malkir want to do? Nah, I'm good. Nestor? At the moment. We would first start with, you know, simple breakfast, and then... Okay. Seeing as how we've got transportation... <laughs> stick with Athelos and Arthur for the most part today. Whatever they got planned. In case he needs some extra muscle. Okay. Well, is there anything you guys want the NPCs to do? They can go buy us a cart. Or acquire a cart, whichever for, for method. Uh. I mean, we still have source. Uh, you... uh, somewhere. Yeah, you do not know where source is. Uh, or curiosity. Much... Yeah, you haven't seen curiosity since you guys got to this city. Uh, and Sorth also disappeared. The only, uh, people that saw Sorth were the detective ladies. Noted. And I'm just double-checking for myself. Did we say we were going to look for horses or something? That's... Really, any, any form of transportation, as long as it gets us out of here. Okay, I, I just, I, I couldn't remember who was actually going to do that. Yeah, that's it's why different. I said the NPCs can go to it. Yeah, I think that's what we're trying to figure out right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. The NPCs doing that, and then it sounds like Malkir's going with the NPCs. Yeah, so, I, I just let them know to not worry about a horse for me. Yeah, we just, we can't let the girls just do everything, so we gotta come up with stuff. All right, so Felcrim staying at the inn. Casper's going off on his own. The ladies are going off to the lavish quarter, and NPCs plus Malkir going to acquire transportation. Sounds good. All right. Um. Well. Let's start with the ladies then, seeing how that's probably uh, probably the easiest thing. <laughs> You're so fit. At least the thing that I have the most preparation. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a question because I've never done Druid, but how long can Druids stay in their wild shape for? Uh, I think it's half their druid level. Oh, yeah, half their rounded, yeah. rounded down. Okay, yeah. So. so it's still two hours for it her. It'll be two hours then for her, okay. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't go up to three until six level. Yeah, rounded down, yeah. Okay. Good news um, is, though, the number of wild shapes she has available has gone up. That's it? I thought it was always two. Always two. 
I'm talking yeah. about the number of different forms she can take. Oh! Doesn't matter, I need her as a cat, so... <laughs> yeah, level 5, I think she can swim now. I think oh, that's what happens at level 5. Static. Oh, so now she, she can... Now. She can, uh... Traverse the city even easier now. She can turn into, like, a fish or something and go through the various tunnels that go throughout the city. All, all the various yeah. aqueducts, aqueducts and gutters. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, how far from um, New Turkey to the Lavish Quarter? A certain amount of time. <laughs> Would wild shape fade by the time we get there? No. <laughs> it does not take you God, I hope not. I don't know. It's, like, it's hard to judge city size when you're, you know, theater of the minding it, right? <laughs> What, when have you ever walked somewhere in a city and it took longer than two hours to get there? Of just walking. <laughs> That's a big city. It also depends no. on whether or not that city is conducive to walking. <laughs> See, this is in Seattle. Okay. It takes a long time to get up those hills in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this city is mostly flat, except for near, like, the government side when they start getting closer to the the high mountain peaks. Um, I'll just have her only switch over to cat. Cat the cat. Um, when we're slightly closer, just in case she needs to be in it for a lot longer while we're in the quarter. Sure. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah. Uh, you guys are stopped by the guards, but they let you in as soon as you show your documentation saying you're working for the government. <laughs> <laughs> the government. <laughs> um, and I don't think we've ever been to her place, but Kat has, so yes. she can guide us as a cat. All right. Because she can, we can just talk in each other's brain. <laughs> oh, I like the idea of you guys following a cat. <laughs> I also low-key enjoy the idea of us following I, a I, cat. I do love that idea, but I feel like it really doesn't fit the low-profile look we're trying to go for. <laughs> it's fine. If everybody asks, you're just you're just taking your cat for a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that's Super the thing people do, right? Because we definitely look like we belong here walking a cat. <laughs> Sorry, these are my outside clothes. I don't like to get my inside clothes dirty. <laughs> All right. With Cat's help, you guys find the Augusto estate. Is there like a magical buzzer, a guard? <laughs> there are guards <laughs> outside of the main gate wearing the same armor as the guards that were at the warehouse. Some of her guards left with her, though, right? Not all of them went unconscious. Correct. There were two guards that left with her. Do either of these guards happen to be either of those guards? No. Okay. <laughs> Listen, you can't blame a girl for crying, all right? <laughs> uh, I guess, I mean, I guess we, we go up. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you go up. One of them says, Oh my god, did she get out again? It's right, the cat! <laughs> Do they look at the cat when they say this? Well, they they look at the cat and then look at the three of you. Yeah. Um. Yes? Alright, so. hold on. <laughs> One of them goes inside, and a few minutes later, a butler comes out. Ah, yes. I see she's come home once again. Marquette. Please. Yeah. Come inside. The lady would like to thank you for bringing her favorite cat back to her. Oh, God. Of course. 
this is either a trap <laughs> or yeah. I prefer for us to walk in here and there be like the captain of the guard just like I don't want <laughs> just the chosen right behind you <laughs> yeah exactly yeah just standing there like well 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 and you're like oh fuck <laughs> Joke's on you, the butler is the chosen! Whoa! <laughs> no. no. <laughs> He's also the guard! <laughs> He's a clone! We are- we are chosen, we are legion. Yeah, I was about to say, we are legion. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we follow the butler. <laughs> yeah, yep. you follow the butler, uh, you go into the entrance hall, uh, through what looked to be like some kind of dining hall, uh, before eventually coming to a type of uh, like sitting room uh, where there is a fire going, and you can see uh, Lady Augusto uh, sitting there uh, drinking some tea. Says, "Ah, welcome." I'm glad to see you not in chains. Same. Good to see that you're looking well. Did you just say same? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Please, have a seat. Would you like some tea? Tea would be good, I think. God, I'm just so sus of everything, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he? It's poison! <laughs> <laughs> the, right, so uh, which one of them is going to pretend to drink tea? Right. <laughs> uh, the butler leaves and it comes back with more cups uh, and then serves you some tea. Uh, he also brings a small plate of cookies. Excellent. So, how did things fare last night after I sconded from the scene? Well, the roof of your warehouse has collapsed. Not, Not our all fault. Of it. For the record, it's true. Just the northern portion that we were standing in. Uh, not our fault. Um, I don't know if you've heard tale or rumor of a vigilante in the city that goes by the Chosen. I, yes, I believe he's the one that showed up last night. Yes. Uh, he was also responsible for the roof collapsing. Uh, quite the bother. Um, the guard showed up shortly after uh, the rest of our companions made it out fine. Um, the three of us, um, also run a bit of a detective agency, uh, which is actually perfectly legitimate. We're registered, the guard and everything. We're on a bit of a trial basis right now. Oh, um, what an excellent cover for your illicit affairs. Serves me well. Um, and so we used that to poke around a little bit, and as a reason to stay involved with what happened. Uh, but best we can tell, the sarcophagus is still within your warehouse. Uh, unsure if the body of the Chosen is or not. Uh, and so we wanted to come and follow up with you. The guards said that they were going to come and take your statement, as well as or well, the statement of Maybe your guards, and also get a <clears throat> list from you of all the items in your warehouse so that they could verify if anything had been stolen. They currently oh. think that the people that your people that were at the warehouse were simply knocked out in an attempted burglary. Interesting. Mind you, the body hasn't been found at this point, so.
Have they come by? <laughs> they have not, as of yet. This is turning out to be a greater opportunity than I thought it would. Is your plan to perhaps list the object as items in your warehouse? That would be an easy way of explaining why it's there. I'll have to draw up some documents in order to show that it was a recent purchase and I hadn't yet had a chance to uh, register them with the uh, with the city's God, what is it called? Um, the antiquities people. Antiquities. Thank you. I come. Uh, my brain. <laughs> my. My brain kept wanting to say architecture. I was like, that's not it. <laughs> no, no, hang on. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, uh. As well as... I might be able to actually make a little money off of this whole problem, too. You have home insurance? Or, well, warehouse insurance? <laughs> In a way, yes. Um, but I don't have to go into details on other crimes I wish to conduct. Don't want to make you an accessory to anything else. Man, what if the Chosen wasn't even there for us at all and he just wanted Lady Llama? <laughs> God, that'd be so funny. <laughs> like, we just happened to be there and he was actually like, I've been after her the whole time. <laughs> You're closer than you think. <laughs> I, I know, I can kind of feel it, like, breathing on the back of my neck and like... <laughs> I mean, I did allude to him not realizing you guys would be there until he got a good look at you and recognized yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, great, like, well, two birds, one stone. Yeah. So, uh, I'm sure you're here in order to make sure that I would deliver on my promise our business deal well not only that we wanted to make sure everything was okay sort of settle all the any potential loose threads also let make you know that we were more in depth into the aftermath make sure we could get our stories in alignment so that we're all communicating the same thing i'd like for all of us to stay out of chains if possible I think we can come to a mutual arrangement. Someone remind me again what we were getting for this. <laughs> 10,000 gold and right. passes to the lavish quarter. Right, 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 right. I wrote that one down. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I think is really funny that you guys didn't... Uh, push for 11,000 so that it could be evenly split 11 ways. To be fair, I feel like all of us continuously lose track of how many people are in our party. It's <laughs> really yep. true. Can we roll I'm back and honest. say we did push for 11,000? <laughs> nope, too late. <laughs> Damn. Can we push for 11,000 now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Considering no. you're covering it up? Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, so she, she's got She's already got the sarcophagus and all the power. Yes, that's a great... Let's ask for more money. Yeah, no, I think we we're... Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna, yeah. Got our, got our losses here. And... All right. 11? Yeah, there's four NPCs. So the good news is 
Apparently we're not <laughs> splitting <laughs> it with curiosity and <laughs> sore. <laughs> which like, also I feels that. like a terrible idea. <laughs> Listen, they weren't around for the deal or anything, so you know what? They should have expected. I don't want Sorth to poison me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're welcome to give Sorth a cut, seeing how she did. She was the one that got the wagon that got the sarcophagus out of the asylum in the first place. Look, if Sorth comes back around and wants some money, we'll cut her in. But okay. unless that happens, no. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, or we just kill one of the other NPCs and give her their share. <laughs> says, yes, well, I can give you all uh, some seals that will make it so uh, you are welcome in the lavish quarter. Uh, it will have my family's insignia on them, so I do trust that you will behave yourselves while you are in the lavish quarter, as any malcontent that you have while here will reflect poorly on my family. It instantly thinks to herself, should we then maybe not give one to the murderous Malkir? <laughs> should we <laughs> warn her about Casper? Ooh, that's also true. <laughs> if, if you we'll pass it on to the rest of our companions. Um, you may hear tale of a bard, and I think he is mostly harmless while performing. Just so that doesn't, uh, catch you by surprise. He is quite good, though. He's not a terrible true. bard. He is, oh. he, do, he does do what he does well. It's just that if perhaps any of your fellow noble folk are not as mentally aware they might be parted with <laughs> more than just a good time <laughs> i mean the schemes of a bard i have no problem with if anything it just shows that i uh am a supporter of the arts it's felt fair to warn you of the art you might be supporting <laughs> Don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> I will take your warning in here. Uh, now, for the other form of our agreement, how would you like to receive the money? Would you like it in straight coin? Uh, various assets, uh, a bank account, maybe. Do I know how well, say, connected are, you know, is the banking system within our little lovely land? <laughs> well, uh, the, uh, the International Bank uh, it does stretch not only to every uh, major city within the Empire, it also stretch out to any colonies that the Empire has outside of the continent. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to travel to like the Western Kingdoms, you obviously wouldn't have access to your money there, as it is a, uh, a form of contention between... You might uh, like whipping up the map for me. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Just so my brain can like. That way we have reference as to where our money is legal <laughs> tender. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that helps. Oh God! I was like, why is? Oh, okay. I was like moving the map on my own accidentally, and I was like, why is it moving? <laughs> yeah. So anywhere within the empire itself. Uh, you'd be able to access uh, your money, as well as anywhere outside of this map that the Empire has influence. Okay. So are we talking, like, here to a degree? 
Uh, well, make a history check. <laughs> Do I make it, or does he? <laughs> uh, this would be... That would be six. So no. six. Yeah. That's 16. Oh, you, oh, I see. Yeah. You yeah. didn't, didn't have advantage. Okay, yeah. Uh, you don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> All you know is that that's, uh, that's an island over there. <laughs> We're effectively here. Damn, that's impressive knowledge. To here, I believe, Durvin. Yes. Uh, any... I'll, I'll get... I'll, I'll make this easy for you guys. I specifically, uh color coordinated this anything that has the name of the place in black text is yeah, part of the empire yeah. <laughs> i was gonna Great. say i was like i feel like all these names are color coordinated for a reason <laughs> uh yeah okay perfect um i feel like a mixture of both <laughs> bank and then like Actual in hand, like like liquid funds, probably be best. Yeah, yeah. Because I think we should have enough coin to pay our NPCs, so that if they want to go, they're free to go wander. We're not responsible for them anymore. Um, say like. Half and half? I'm thinking half and half, yeah. So... 5,000 gold split 11 ways in 11 different bank accounts, and then a lump sum of 5,000 gold. Think about the fact that we would all Damn, be in I was, bank account. I was really going to say, can you put all five in one, and then we could just lie and say that we only got five because of all the nuisance of this, and then we just keep them from our NPCs and have more money. You know? <laughs> I mean, my mind was the three of you are the only ones there. If that's uh, the, only one, the only ones no, here, that's... if you want me to, like, make the bank account in a specific way for you to screw over the rest of your allies, that's no problem for me. Yeah. Yeah. God, the conflict. I I have to. No, I'm I for that. Just, I unfortunately, she's not here, but I can literally hear her in my head going, "Do it, do it, do it." <laughs> yeah. Do it. <laughs> and so that, I feel that, like I'm obligated. Cat has put her paws on your yeah. leg and dug in her. Claws. Well, how... She's like sitting on my lap and just puts a paw onto my cheek, like sister. You know okay. what to do. <laughs> how about this? Would the would the ladies like to confer in their secret chat that I know you have? I uh, and, and I can conferring. I feel like. Oh okay. Yeah. I feel like oh, it's like okay. give us one bank account of five k and then like the other five. You know, okay. And then we'll yeah. All right. So what? Wh whose name is the bank account under then? Uh, I mean, we could put it under mine. In the name of the investigator? Do we put it like in an LLC for like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the investigation for high and low detective go. <laughs> <laughs> Tie it put up. Put it in a Cuban bank account. <laughs> like offshore you know um I, mean, I, I i feel like it's either we put it under the, de the detective agency's name or we put it under i would say like your like alias of flair one of the two i think we'll just put it under my alias yeah we'll just put it yeah. under flair we'll put it under that yeah flair copper <laughs> She's a copper, she is. Yeah. <laughs> God, we gave ourselves such stupid <laughs> names. We really did. Flair Copper, Zoe Swift Stride, and Eugenie Bark. We really. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Eugenie Bark. A... Yep, Eugenie Bark. Oh, God. Absolute. Just. They're so ridiculous, nobody would even believe that they're not real. <laughs> exactly. 
Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's something that I can do for you. Uh, so, uh, for the 5,000, uh, how do you want that? In gold, platinum... We established it's 2,500 coins into the bag, right? 2,500, yeah. So, okay. 500 platinum would fit nice. Yeah. Do we want to do, like, 400 platinum? Like, 450 in platinum, and then 500 in gold? That way, when we're trying to break it up, we have some smaller coins to work with. Yeah, I think that would be good. Yeah, or else we get a little funky with the 45 point, 45, 45, 45, 45, yeah. infinite uh, <laughs> loop. Yeah, so 450 in platinum, 500 in gold. Okay. Right? That that yeah. math math. Yes, right? yes it does. I was. It took me a second, I was like, what? wait. Yes. Okay. Why, why did the gold get so big all of a sudden versus the <laughs> yeah. small platinum? Yeah, me too. For a brief moment, I was like, that doesn't math at all. And I was like, wait, gold, platinum. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, four, Zeros. Yeah. 450 in platinum and 500 in gold, uh, which uh, when you, you plan on putting into the bag of holding, uh, which is now part of Cat's cat form. <laughs> I would have thought I, to I, grab I know, it from yeah, her, no, right? I, I would have taken it from her before oh, okay. she became a cat. Um, you, well, that's fine because she doesn't have that type of coin just lying around anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Either way, I, I would have taken it from her when, um, with much reluctance, but I would have got, I would have pried it out of her very tight grip. <laughs> Well, uh, I will drop the paperwork to get the bank account set up for Flair. Uh, in the meantime, uh, she reaches her hand out and the butler is there in an instant with some kind of parchment uh, to which she... Writes you a check for five hundred, uh, well, five hundred gold and four hundred fifty platinum. Yep. Great. To be cashed out at the bank. The bank. Great. Um, how legit does this check look? Uh, that's a great question. Yeah. Giving it a once over. It it looks quite official. It okay. is a Back. check for uh, the Mountain Peak International Bank of Orana. You can never be too careful. Really enjoying how paranoid Kit is. I... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I know these people. <laughs> and also, if I take fake money, my sister will never forgive me. Yeah, you you would know, Kit, that the Mountain Peak International Bank is a, like, rock-solid bank that has been around since the beginning of the Empire. Okay, cool. Like, cool. back back when it was still the Kingdom of Ore, the bank yeah. was there. Yeah, okay, cool. So this bank is... Alright. This is like, we're talking Gringotts level of banking. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> yeah, now that now that that's settled, is there anything you wish for us to know about what happened last night? Uh, for when I do eventually have to turn in some kind of report to maintain any kind of legitimacy. Oh yeah, I like whip out my my notes. <laughs> um, I don't think so. Uh, however. Uh, I would like to keep in touch 
as uh, it's good to have worldly people that you can trust, uh, especially when you deal with antiquity. And if there's any further artifacts that I uh, would come across that need to be acquired, I'd like to know that there's someone I could trust to go and get them. Would you be interested in an arrangement like that? Can't see why not. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take it to the others, of course, but I have a feeling some of us I feel like most of us would be interested. It's hard to find steady work these days. Fantastic. Uh, you can find us at the New Turkey, and if that changes, uh, we'll be sure to let you know. Understood. Well, if there's nothing else, uh, I am going to retire. I have some other business I have to deal with. Of course. Uh, I'm sorry, I do have one more, just a logistical question for you. Um, is there a timeline you'd prefer we stick to with regards to any report we make? Buy you a little bit of time. Um, I would say, uh, I would need to draw up the manifest, uh, as well as any other paperwork that goes along with it. If you could give me until the end of the day, that should be enough time. Perfect. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, with that, she leaves and her butler will see you all out. Right. How good were the cookies? Uh, <laughs> uh, it was very good. Very yeah, high great. high quality. Uh, the cookies were freshly baked. The tea oh, uh, lo- <laughs> tasted... Uh, I... It's, the, it's not a tea any of you are familiar with. It had a very interesting kind of flavor profile. It's very herbal, uh, kind of exotic. Delicious. All right. Uh, so you leave with your written check in hand. Are you heading back to the inn, or did you want to go to the bank? We need to go to the bank. We need to go to the gate yeah. to find out what paperwork we need to leave the city if we choose to leave the city. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we'll cut over to... Uh, let's go with Casper. What are you doing, Casper? I am going to go to the amphitheater. Okay. <laughs> Easy enough. I'm going to perform. All right, yeah. You can see that there's already, uh, like, a small crowd just kind of hanging out. Uh, it's around lunchtime, so people just kind of using the public space as a place to eat. Uh, say, currently there's nobody performing, so you can jump on stage and do whatever you want to do. Perfect. Anything... As always, I will put my... Uh... My hat out for tips on the edge of the stage. Keep forgetting you have a hat. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, go ahead uh, and make a performance check for me. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Uh, anything specifically you're performing? Um, I'm going to perform... More of, like, a slow ballad. Okay. More like a, like a, sort of like a tragic story built into it. But it's all music, okay. so. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like a, like a free-flowing type of, uh, uh, kind of haunting ballad type thing. Yeah. Exactly. 
nice, uh, nothing too intense so that the people eating their lunch lose it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, cool. Say, oh, yeah. You should probably, uh, kind of cycle your proficiencies a bit because it's it's shown here that you still have plus two proficiency, so that's actually a seven. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. It does that sometimes with roll 20 when, like, you, like your proficiency bonus goes up. It doesn't change on the skills. I find I found, though, that, it, like, if you just, like, like click on the proficiency, but, like, circle a couple times to, like, cycle through back to what you were at, that usually changes everything. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but 17, pretty good. Um, go ahead and roll me 3d6. All right. Uh, all together, a mixed, uh, kind of like mixed coinage, uh, you get nine gold. Cool. Anything else you wanted to do besides performing? Uh, yes, actually. Sure. So when I finish with my performance, uh, mm -hmm. I'm assuming like an hour or two later. Yeah. Um, I will use my one of my, my becoming one of my new favorite spells, rumor. Yep. Uh, to spread the rumor that the the chosen uh, kills people. And destroyed a building. Okay. Yeah. It uh it spreads like wildfire as uh everybody kinda like knows about the chosen because he's been around for a little bit. Uh but like it's always been kind of like a uh like who is he? Uh like who is he truly fighting for type of thing. And so this new kind of uh, rumor kind of builds on top of that normal superstition uh, for people to believe that it is their worst fears that the Chosen is not actually a force for good and he hurts people. So, All right, anything else? Uh, I'm just gonna go for a stroll. Okay, sounds good. Uh, then we'll jump over to Malkir and the NPCs. So, um, being in the market quarter, you're already kind of in a place uh, to find. Uh, the required means of transportation that your party's looking for. So, I guess, what are you looking for? I'll, I'll ask you, Malkir, because it's... I'm not going to give too much agency to the NPCs. Uh, what, what are you looking for when it comes to the transportation? Do you want, like... Carts, carriages, just riding horses. Master? He died. Yeah. Oh, okay. he was there. Did you, did you hear my question? I did not. I'm in Discord limbo right, limbo right now. Everything sort of all over the place. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll ask it again. Uh, hopefully you it picks up this time. Yeah. Uh, what type of means of transportation are you looking for? Are you looking for, like, carts, carriages, horses, other creatures? Well, I guess we'll start looking for, like, maybe cart and horse, if need be. Okay. Fuck, yeah, there's 11 of us, so most likely a cart and horse. Okay. Or horses, I should pluralize. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, easy to find. Uh, the market quarter has a lot of uh, kind of like beasts of burden for uh, purchase, as there's lots of people that come here that find that they suddenly bought something they have no means of carrying. Uh, so, for... Let me just look up prices on that. I know for a fact it ain't going to be cheap. I know the horses aren't usually that expensive, especially like draft horses for carrying a cart. Mostly, I think, the cart. I'm not looking for anything too, you know, fancy. Mainly just something that can move and get us, yeah. 11, 10, 11, wait, 11 people? Out the yeah. city? Yeah. So, like, a cart, that's, that's more of just, like, a simple kind of, like, thing to put stuff on. Like, if you're looking for, like, like a something for people to like sit in comfortably uh that like, would you know, be... have to be comfortable <laughs> yeah well like still like uh for multiple people to sit in that would be more of like a carriage as well as like you're if everybody is sitting in the carriage or or actually sorry no more of a wagon a wagon would be more for a mm. large group of people in one i guess a carriage that's more of like really comfortable seating for a couple so i imagine we're gonna have at least Two up front driving, couple in the back, and depending on how we sort that out, maybe people walk or take shifts for a couple minutes for for a while. Okay. Do you want to get two wagons? So that because if if it's like two in the front, two in the back, that still leaves like seven people out walking. If you get two Is wagons, it... then it's not it's not as many people kind of out and about. Don't forget, I did mention I don't need to worry about a horse. We could do the two wagons and two, like four horses, I think. Okay. For the horses, do you want just standard draft horses or do you want like high end horses? Horses that can maybe run a little, like go a little longer without needing the rest, or uh, ones that are specifically trained not to freak out. I just feel like draft horses. Just regular draft horses? Okay. So then uh, four draft horses and two wagons uh, would set you at about 270 gold. I imagine I'm not the only one paying for this. We got Athelos and Arthur here, of course, right? Yeah. I confront the 200. They would just need to go in on the 70. Uh, yeah. Uh, Athelos and Arthur, they can they can cover the rest of it. Uh, Athelos a bit more than Arthur. Arthur's a little low on money after his date. <laughs> 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 the sin. <scene. laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, between the three of you, uh, you are able to procure two wagons and the needed horses to pull the wagon. There's enough of us that I think there's a, there's at least a couple proficiencies in land vehicles, right? Sorry, I was looking at something. What'd you say? I said there's enough. Of, there's like eleven of us. To, 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 the odds of like more than one of us having proficiency in land vehicles is high, right? Maybe. Land vehicles are technic. Is that technically a tool proficiency? Uh, I'd consider it a tool proficiency. Okay, right. well then, flares. Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Got yeah, I can, I can drive. 
Ruby's like, give me one night to think on it, and I got you covered. I don't even, I don't even need a whole night. I can do it on a short rest in an true. hour. Let me, let me have a nap, and then I got you covered. <laughs> Anything I want to do. Just All right. Yeah. All right. Just making sure, because Malkir doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> I mean, so... <laughs> you don't need to have proficiency in land vehicles to sit at, like... Sit, sit, sit at the, at the, uh, the bench and hold the ropes. It's more just, like... If you need to suddenly like do something, like if there's like a skill check involved that deals with the wagon, with your wagon yeah. Then. Like if, if you want to go off road, or if yeah, if there's like anything that requires like a skill check, like proficiency in the vehicle will give you proficiency with the check. So, but I I wouldn't I wouldn't say you need to be proficient. Yeah, otherwise all these farmers would be fucked. Okay, fair. <laughs> you would just be born with, like, fucking land vehicle proficiency. Every NPC would just have it by, like, birth. <laughs> yeah. Because last, last time I checked, the, uh, the commoner stat block did not say anything about land vehicle proficiency. Oh no, look at that, nothing. All right, so we've got our two wagons, two horses. We have to find somewhere to park. <laughs> Maybe the inn where there's a stable. Yeah. Where we had a cart parked before. <laughs> yeah. Back to the inn, I guess. All right. Easy enough. Alright, uh, then we'll cut back to the ladies who are heading off to the bank. This is what I play Dungeons and Dragons for. Going to the <laughs> going, bank. Going to the bank. <laughs> yep, yeah. this, is, this is the high fantasy gameplay. I dedicate, you know... Freedom. You know it's a fantasy because it's financial stability. <laughs> What's that like? Uh, yeah, yeah, go to the bank, cash the check. I wish All I right. could just steal it. Probably wait in the line. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, well, let me ask you this. Uh, L Lady uh, Augusta would have given you the seals. Do you use the seal at the bank? 100%. Yeah. I mean, yeah? I feel like we do. Yeah. Like, we use her seal with. Her check has got to be, you know. Yeah. Extra. Yeah. Then because I feel like it might look sus if we're like, "Hello, we have this check for four hundred and fifty <laughs> platinum and five hundred gold." <laughs> yep. Yeah. Then uh, you are bumped uh, to the front of the line, skipping all like the various commoners and merchants that are kind of waiting for the general. Uh... TSA pre-check. <laughs> TSA. Check. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, and you uh, are speaking with a uh, bank uh, solicitor, and uh, they ask you if you would like to put any of this money into a bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Good today, thank you. Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, they do ask you to fill out several forms, seeing how it is a large amount of money that you are cashing this check for. Yep. Yeah. They know they know that you're good for it because you not only are you getting paid by a noble lady, but you also have a seal of approval from said then, noble lady. She so, probably doesn't just hand those out. So. Yeah. It's it's more of just bureaucratic nonsense. Yeah. yeah, and I grumble also... the entire time that I'm doing it. I fill out the paperwork so that Ruby doesn't have to have anything to do with it. 
I guess Actually, no. Nobody, I... That nobody hands anything to the detective, so I fill out her paperwork. I do want to make sure I get, like, a good, solid look at the paperwork, though. You know, just in case. Yeah. yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, investigation check. What's paperwork? <laughs> yeah, it is... Uh, it is a very I... long Sorry. scroll with very small lettering. <laughs> could I help her with this as I'm filling out the paperwork and could then, in the future, if ever needed, could help her recreate something similar? Uh, sure. We'll, we'll say you can help her with that. So, R Ruby, go ahead and roll again. Okay. Sorry, my brain is processing at, like, like, negative six miles a minute right now. I'm like... <laughs> so, yeah, with that, you're able to kind of, like uh get like the gist of the legal mumbo jumbo uh there's nothing malicious hidden in this contract uh it's your standard kind of uh banking document uh basically one <laughs> ba ba yeah basically like stating that like the bank is not liable for any like like anything that happens this money once yeah. it is given to you, that type of thing. It's like, if you want to go walking around with 5,000 gold of uh, loose coinage, that's, that's you are free to do so. It is not the bank's responsibility. Anymore. All right. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, after all the paperwork is done... Um, you see a, uh, kind of like a heavy-set dwarven gentleman come out carrying huge sacks of coins. I, can, can I ask that we could maybe do this not here in front of everyone? <laughs> oh, you guys aren't, like, in, like, oh, okay. the open area, right? <laughs> just, just, dwarf right? Out, like, here you go! Yeah, you... <laughs> Yeah, you were taken to a like to an actual like banking solicitor who has his own office. You are behind closed doors. Okay. Okay. Good. Just wanted to just wanted to double check on that. I realize now we should have asked for four hundred and forty platinum divided by eleven. Just makes forty platinum, and then we could have we sort of added an extra layer of difficulty. To <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> just thought about that, you know. Basically, we forgot the math properly. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is I pointed that out, and then I presented you with a opportunity. I didn't even hear you <laughs> mention anything. I... Of it. Well, I mentioned I it before did. about about the ten thousands. Like, and you're like, can we go back and say we pushed for eleven? Like, no. <laughs> And that, so I, I already brought, yeah, I brought that to your attention. I was yeah. like, so how do you want the coinage? Like, ah, let's do another Kayla was flat just so number. Confident. <laughs> Kayla was just so confident in her 450-500 that I just went with it. <laughs> In my mind, it's easier to do things by fives. Yeah, not when you're a group of 11. We do. <laughs> and I recognize that, yes, I could have done 44 and 6. I know. I it doesn't work in my head. There's what, still a what, chance when talking to this teller to be like, eh, could we uh rearrange these numbers a bit? What's especially funny would be if I decided that the currency in this game is all in multiples of seven. I would quit. I would quit, honestly. I would just Yeah. I'd just be like, you know what? This was fun, guys. It's been a great time. This is the problem. Playing what is gold standard? I don't know what gold standard is. It's not in my D and D game. Everything is in digits of seven. Because oh, that's how many days of the week there are. Oh, ew! Get out of here. <laughs> I hate that. Thank you. <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, you you all get your your giant bags of money, to which. The bank teller and the uh, dwarven gentleman just kind of stand there looking awkwardly. He's like, do you have a means of transporting this? I whip out my bag. <laughs> um, however, before we 
put this in here. Should we maybe divvy it up beforehand so that when we take it out, it's already bagged and ready to be given? Instead of me having to yes. just reach in here and pull out play. coin. Yeah, one hundred percent. So I'm trying to get like a, a bunch of little bags a bunch inside of... and in. Instead of a bunch of little like envelopes that you can get at the banks in the real world, just like a bunch yeah. of little bags. Yeah, a little a bunch of little like leather pouches. <laughs> Yeah, whatever they, uh, whatever, whatever bank envelopes there is in fantasy, d fantasy I mean, it's, land. it's just more bags. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I just need little, like, small bags, though. Kind, well, not small, but you know. Oh, okay. They um, don't need to be like gargantuan bags, just enough to hold what everybody would be getting. Well, ten people are getting forty-one platinum. <laughs> and then one person gets <laughs> and we'll get more gold. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you could have made this easier on yourself. I know, but you know, we're here no. now. So yeah. Ten people ten people get forty one platinum. One person gets forty <sighs> platinum. And then the five hundred oh. We will map this out later. Anyways, the money gets split yeah. appropriately into the 11 corresponding bags, and then those bags go into the bag of holding. Bag of bags. It is Must a bag of bags. I am Santa Claus. You are <laughs> every Midwesterner. I have bags of bags. Excuse me. The uh the bank teller watches you do this and is like how interesting. What's what's they're what type still of... here while we do this? Yeah, they're they're gonna, they're gonna watch gonna you. They're, they're gonna wa like they're gonna watch you like Why? handle normally, the money. Normally when you get left with like your safety deposit box, they leave the room. What the fuck? No, get out they, of here. This isn't a safety they deposit, deposit box. <laughs> we've already cashed the check. They, it, what, what they why do they need to watch us take the money? Like if they, they need, to, it to, they need to watch us. It's fine. It's a I lot mean, of money, Tori. I know yeah. it's a lot of money, but I have a bag of holding that is technically stolen. I don't want them in here while I'm putting this into a bag of holding. How are they gonna know the bag of holding is stolen? Doesn't say <laughs> doesn't say pro property of the guy I chopped up into pieces and threw in the river on the bottom. Well, property say, of Massa. It's actually <laughs> not owned by the dude. It is actually, in fact, owned by the government. So. Oh, oh, you, so you it does have a property of property. Massa tag on it. <laughs> like we we took it while we were legit and then kept it when we were no longer legit. <laughs> okay, we'll just make sure they can't see the property of tag and call it good. Yeah, but it's a bag of holding. It's sus. <sighs> Anyways, all right. Well, if they're not gonna leave, let's get on with it then. <laughs> yeah, they. He he's very interested on how this bag works. That eleven small bags oh, nice. fit in it when this bag is not nearly big enough to hold those eleven bags. Can I hit him with the super? I want to hit him with like the um. The like arcana description of what a bag of holding does. Like, I want to hit him with so much obscure wording that, like, <laughs> it just this guy's like, uh huh. And eventually it's just like, I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> okay. Like just big actually... word explanation. Yeah. I want to hit I... him with all the really big magic you, words. You want to confuse him with, with, with science. Got it. Um, yes. <laughs> go ahead. This would be a. Persuasion, uh, wait, no, this would be Arcana in uh, Charisma. Arcana Charisma. Arcana Charisma? Yeah, so, uh, I'm assuming you're proficient with Arcana. I am. I so go three. ahead, go ahead and just roll a Charisma check plus three. Oh, so I can just roll anything I'm proficient in effectively. In yeah, if, it, yeah, like yeah. If, if you're like proficient in persuasion, you can just click that yeah Ugh. Ew. oh yeah yours did that same thing where it still did it plus two so that's technically Wait. a 12. oh the fuck 
That's weird. Yeah, that was what I was telling Josh about. It's just you might want to like just cycle the proficiency oh, a bit yeah. to eh, change them eh, all. Eh, 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 yeah. Eh. But anyway, that's a twelve. Um, so it'd be like, huh? Okay. I don't think I quite understood everything you said there, but the general concept makes sense. What uh what an ingenious invention. Did did you come up with this? I'm gonna if I if if I let's see, if I can think back <laughs> when I was at school, do I know who invented the bag of holding? <laughs> Well, as a reminder, this bag of holding is the only bag of holding because it was experimentally made by okay, Massa. Oh this is what oh I Oh my I god! Do. I do. Like, it's fine, and I was like, no, I know there's a reason why we're not supposed to let anybody know about this bag of holding, which is why we don't know. We don't know. Rana. We don't oh, know. You, you bully me. <laughs> we we don't know. <laughs> I said it wasn't okay, and you guys were like, it's fine that they're in the room, and I was like, it's you not fine that they're You room. did not tell us why it wasn't I okay. I the government. I told you I stole from the government. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, boy. I didn't think you stole the only experimental prototype from the government. So to answer your question, it wouldn't be something you know from school. You would know that it was kind of a group effort uh, from... Massa itself. Uh, yeah. If you want, I can tell you who the specific person that the head of that team was. I mean, yeah, I guess you can tell me. Not that I'll tell him, because that's just... Uh... God damn it. Kayla, no. Don't you dare! Okay? I don't think it's our fault. <laughs> I stand by that opinion. No. <laughs> Are you currently so, like name, generating a name? No, actually, this is someone I had already generated. Oh, okay. And then you guys just never ran into them. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, you would know this person uh, as... <laughs> yeah. Um, this would be uh, lead enchanter uh, Vanyo Thulagia. Want to, hit with copy, <laughs> want to copy and paste that shit in? The let me, sorry, let me let me let me pronounce that slightly better. Uh, Vonyo Thuleagia. You want to copy and paste that into the chat? <laughs> sure. Uh, he also goes by the nickname Horn Carver. Oh, that's comforting. I wonder if I can just click his name. Because it's, it's lighting up blue. Well, you can, you'll can never know unless you try. Oh, okay. That just gave me his whole staff block directly to me. Okay. That was... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yep, those are some stats. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right, Josh. <laughs> they're not great, but they're stats. If I go into edit mode... Yeah, there we go. Now I can select this. Come to find out he has a proficiency in upselling you on account on credit cards. What? <laughs> this isn't the banker. There you go. This would actually be more like Tul Tulyaga. Tulyaga makes more sense. Tulyo well, Tulyaga. Yeah. Let's go with that. It's in the Roll20 chat. If you... Yeah, I got it. Okay. Wasn't sure if you saw that. Well, I guess I could also put it in the campaign notes. That would make... Yeah, yeah would, well. would help.
All right, sorry. So, <laughs> what was the question he had asked? <laughs> he asked you uh, if you invented that yourself. Oh. Because it is a very ingenious invention. Yes. I like to tinker. I have a lot of time on my hands. Is it trademarked? Hopefully one day. As soon as I'm done shoving things into this bag, I'm like, well, <laughs> got a jet. <laughs> like... Well, if you ever uh, decide to trademark it, uh, let us know. We do have a department for that. Be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you. All right, and you uh, successfully get everything into your bag of holding. And off we go. <laughs> off we go. Um, I also need to slip out. Yep, that is a good place to end anyway, as you guys leave the bank to head back to the inn where everybody else is waiting. That's where we'll end it. Alright, so I will end the stream here. So I'm assuming we're playing next week? Uh, yep. Yep, plan to. Alrighty, then we'll head out and see you guys next week. Bye. Good night.